Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Arizona. A year ago, uh, a little bit more than a year ago, I made a video about Arizona lifestyle and uh, living and very popular video. So it's been a year later and I've done some little videos in between and this is all part of Outdoor Travel Channel and uh, thought I'd do follow up. So what's going on now is of course since we've been here for a year, we've, uh, let me get away from my air conditioner a little bit, we uh, have modified the yard a little bit and done some things but what's happening is everybody talked about Arizona getting hot. And yes it does get hot in the summer. Um, it'll be breaking 100 degrees almost every day for about three months. And uh, But you gotta also remember we have like eight to nine months of summer weather and uh, and the, and growing seasons if you have a garden and things like that are a lot different here and I'm going to show that to you um, our growing season starting to stop it's getting too warm we start our growing season in November and December for a lot of our plants like broccoli and things like that uh, lettuce and uh, um, it's really bright out here so that's why I'm kind of grinching but I wanted to talk about some of the things like the gardening and how we prepare for the hot weather. So typically in Arizona, uh, the first thing is I'll turn around and you'll see I have a pool. Now uh, my son's not exactly where I wanted to be, but and that's my dog Cinder's chocolate lab. And uh, uh, we have a pool and it's not unusual to have pools. Ours is only uh, three feet at the three and a half feet at the ends five feet in the center it's kind of like a wading pool you can't dive in it other people have pools that are called diving pools where one end will be 10 15 feet deep with a uh, usually a platform at the end and uh, I like ours a lot better because it warms up faster so it's only uh, <clears throat> it's the the end of April here and we're not in the hundred degree mark yet but we're getting close you can feel it <coughs> and the pools already hit a peak of 80 degrees so uh, it's uh, we're actually starting to start swimming in it which is really fun and if you got grandkids <laughs> grandkids come over and have a blast so uh, yeah so pools if you don't have a pool a lot of places in Arizona have community pools so uh, that's kind of a, a norm in Arizona where people go to get cooled off and a lot of our parks have what they call the little uh, cool off play areas where they have little sprinklers and all that and kids know how to keep cool and the other thing will get really popular in Arizona is floating the salt river in inner tubes and that's really really popular here where people can rent inner tubes they have buses that take them up to by the dam by Lake Sororo they float all down and then they get out and they can do it again if they want so it's really cool so what we're doing this time of year is preparing for hot weather so we just put in a canopy right here to uh, create more shade shade is the precious commodity in Arizona shade 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 and you'll find even when you go to shopping malls you don't always have to fight for a parking lot or space up front because a lot of people are parking around the trees to get shade for their car so they'll park in the back just to get shade so the other thing I wanted to show you I'm moving around kind of fast here is our garden so this is our garden and we've done some shows about our garden and what's happening now is there's certain plants that do really good in the hot weather like peppers and uh, I still have cucumbers coming and and there's strawberries in here and stuff like that but uh, um, like spinach we're done we already pulled them out um, so let me point to a few here so uh, you'll see I have a little bit of spinach left in the back. I got to pull those out. They're all done. We had lots of spinach this year. But uh, the big thing that's real popular is peppers. So this is a pepper plant. These are jalapenos. So if you can look down here, right here, those are all peppers. <laughs> and I got a lot of baby peppers coming right here. All kinds of peppers. There's a pepper. Anyway, wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Anyway, so it's kind of fun. So uh, uh, I like to make jalapeno poppers in my Traeger. 
and so I'm going to be able to use fresh peppers. That's kind of cool. The other thing I wanted to show you is our onions are getting close to being uh, uh, ready to pull. And we still have carrots down here. And uh, tomatoes are really doing well. So let me, sorry about my shadow and stuff, but now we've got tomatoes here and up here. And uh, little cherry tomatoes. <laughs> cherry tomatoes never make it to the house. <laughs> They're so good. But the really cool thing that we're growing here is Walla Walla onions. So here's some Walla Wallas right here. And more Walla Wallas down here. And uh, what they're doing right now, they're starting to bulk up. And uh, so as soon as the tops start dying out, it'll be time to pull them, dry them out. And I'm going to have lots of onions this year. And Walla Wallas are so good. The other thing that's going to start happening is we have a boat. And this is a 28 foot Maxim. Bring it over here so you can see a little bit more. And uh, I know I'm moving all over the place here, but the Maxim, it's about, you know, it's a 30 foot boat with this big old swim step on here. And uh, it's getting a new canopy put on. So uh, that'll be done this weekend. And then we're going to take it up to Lake Powell for the summer. Why do we do that? Well, it's going to be really hot here. And uh, that's one way that we can uh, go cool off. And uh, the other thing we not have been aware of is a lot of people have uh, covers <laughs> that will come down over my windows and it will make it pitch black in the rooms. And uh, what we do that for is, uh, you know, just to keep our houses cooler, this uh, thing here will come down and seal up and protect our windows and no sunlight will go through. If I come over here, you, I'm going to take you around to the other side of the house. This is where our pool pump is. And this is the boat. So you see, you got a normal window here. But you see that window there? That's the protection covers we put down. We drop them all down for the summer to help keep our houses cool. So that's how that works. And you get a chance to see the boat again. Put a pump here. <laughs> so, uh, the big thing is people are like, oh my god, it's always so hot here. Well, it's only for about three months. But there's things you can do to make it nicer. Um, one of the big things is creating shade. Which, that's what we have right here. Yeah. Nothing better than just sitting right here, watching the grandkids play in the pool, go play in the pool with them, have lots of pool toys, stuff like that. The patio, lots of shade, the good place to cook. We barbecue all year round, and uh, we enjoy the birds a lot. So we we got a hummingbirds that come in like crazy, and we just put this in for regular birds. Mistake. Do not put one of these close to your house. Why? <laughs> Look at the ground. They make a mess. So, what we're going to do to fix that problem is I was going to put the stake here. As you can see right here. But I don't want it there. I'm going to put it actually over here. Right in front of this. And then I can kind of give it some extra stability. Um, so when we have the monsoons and plus that's kind of a heavy bird feeder and we get kind of big birds <laughs> and uh, we get finches, we get doves, we get quail, all kinds of birds and I'm trying to get, I'd love to see some of those new, uh, those love birds we get here, they look like uh, canaries. So uh, you anyway, know I hope that kind of gives you a feeling of what it's like here in Arizona as it starts getting warmed up. We're all starting to get ready for it. And so this is a good time, like your furniture here is replace your cushions if they need to be replaced. Uh, we're all getting our uh, 
backyards kind of ready for hot weather so we can enjoy our pools. Some people will have misters uh, which will spray water along the edges of things. We don't need it here. And uh, get ready to uh, hunker down a little bit in, indoors a little more. So this is the time a lot of people will uh, go to casinos more, go shopping more, go see movies more, um, and uh, um, just kind of get through the hot weather. And uh, our cars, by the way, uh, this is the time when you want to have driving gloves because your steering wheels might get so hot you may not want to touch them. You want to put those little folding uh, uh, covers in your windshield. Uh, anytime you can park your car in the shade, the better. It's easier on the uh, on the uh, paint and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I hope that kind of helps you kind of understand what it's like to live here. This is a wonderful place to live. Arizona people are really nice people. They're happy, and I think it's because of the sunshine and stuff like that. So uh, I'll try to do more follow-ups. There's so many little phenomenons here that... Um, I'd like to talk to you more about the roads and driving around here. Um, you'd be amazed how much water we have here. We have lakes everywhere. So uh, anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been informative to you. Please leave comments below with questions. It gives us an idea what you want us to talk about. And uh, we'll try to do more follow-up Arizona videos. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, Cinder says... It's hot, Dad. I want to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, I think the pool is more for the dog. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us at Outdoor Travel Channel and Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Take care now. Bye.